Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with Stamp Away Saturday and the giveaway. And so today we are going to be giving away this stamp set at the end of the video. And all of the um, participants have been put into our little our little book here. So you're all in there. We have 35 participants this week. Yay! So, um, so it's the bird that we'll be giving away. Bird stamp set at the end of this video. And then we're going to be playing with this stamp set. It is a Hampton Arts stamp set from Dollar Tree. And we're going to be playing with the man in the moon that looks like he's dancing across the, the sky. I just think it's so funny that it just really looks like it's got arms and that a leg is over here. Anyway, so we're going to be playing with that. And um, at the end, I'll explain how you can uh, be entered to win that for next week. So we have our tickets here. And we are ready. So this week we are going to use the Marvy Color In Watercolor Twist. Um, they're like coloring pencils to, um, to get a watercolor effect. I got these at Ross. They are awesome. And many of you know that I don't like to color because I don't color in the lines. And... Um, these kind of help with that. So I have taken the Man in the Moon stamp and I am just going to go ahead and ink it up. We'll just jump right in here. I have cut out a library card envelope with my Cricut and that is what I am stamping on today. So... Um, my acrylic block is a baseball card holder and it fits this size really well so that's why I like to use it. I missed uh, I missed a little bit of the area there and you can go in and just you know attach them together if, if it's that important to you and... So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to color some of this. I don't want to take all day <laughs> coloring. Oh, you turn it from this pen and there the, the color pencil crayon thing comes out. So, I think what we'll do is we'll color this one house. We'll color these daisies down here and I'm just going in a circular motion around the daisies in the petals right here is what I'm doing. Okay. And then I think I'll take some pink and go across here. It is a flat so you can just go around it like that. I think we'll go around the outside. I'm struggling to stay in the lines. <laughs> Um, I did use the Ranger Archival ink um, because we are going to add water to this and to get the watercolor effect. So um, these videos are just to give you various stamping ideas and ways to use your stamps if you have stamps in your um, in your collection. I have lots of stamps. So I think we're going to give this an orange, an orange door. Okay, and then maybe some orange up here. And then, there was a teal. I like the teal. So these came with 24 and it came with the brush. 
which I thought was kind of cool. We'll go around this and then we'll go ahead and color in these trees. You'll notice that my, um, the paper that I used for this actually has um, some teal little markings in it. But I was like, well, I think we can just, we can still use that, even though it's got the teal markings in it. Um, yellow, I think, would be our next color. And there's several yellows. Oh, this one's more of a gold. I think we'll go with yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow. Yeah. And go on these lines. The windows, the centers of the flowers, maybe the whole, this whole thing, and then the stars, and I'm just going to go and make a star inside of each star. So I'm not covering the whole um, star, I'm just making a star in the star, okay. Um, Go with this and maybe a little bit here across and I think we'll color in the moon also okay so you can see that it's actually quite messy I would probably be embarrassed to give this to somebody <laughs> um, but we do have, and I have a brand new black stamp pad. I've kept saying I needed a new, needed to open a new one. I finally did. Okay, so this just needs to be damp. It does not need to be wet. Literally, you could um, use a wet baby wipe and probably and get your brush wet enough. Um, but I am going to use the, the, that, and then I'm going to dry it off a little. Okay, so you just go on here and you start moving the, the color around with your wet brush. And you get this beautiful watercolor effect. I love this. Okay, it totally changes. Now I'm going to go ahead and go across in this part down here and let it just be messy. Okay. So you can see this is a place that you probably can see it pretty good. So again, these are the Marvy Color In Watercolor Twist is what they're called. And if you have a smaller brush, that might work even better. So. Just color and paint with water um, I think it's kind of fun check it out there we go Okay, then huh, forgot about the stars. See, so I'm just dabbing on the stars, and they are literally filling in the star. So there we have part of it. 
um, done. I did one a little earlier, so a little bit, um, did we do the, did we do the moon? I don't think we did the moon on this one either. So there you go. I just wanted to see if when I made this one, I wanted to make sure that it would work on this kind of paper. And it did. This is a regular cardstock. And I think it's really, really fun. And then this can become a little pocket that you can put inside, um, you know, inside something that you're making. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so creative. So again, this was using the Color In Watercolor Twists. Um, I just used the four colors this time. I think they are amazing. I like my, um, I like my things that are in color in order. <laughs> By the way, we used to do, um, and I'm putting this one, that's the gold one. I'm going to put it closer to the brown later. Okay, so that is my little tip today, using watercolor pencils to color in your um, coloring pages. And then we have this adorable little pocket that we can use and this was cut with my Cricut and it was a I don't know which um, cartridge it was because it was one of the free Friday ones that I got and I I only downloaded the couple of images that I wanted and that was one of them so how are you going to get this stamp set for yourself um, Let's see, we have the man in the moon here, which is really, really fun. I, I'm, and all the stars, I'm curious, okay? I was watching that new TV, I think it's new, TV show 911, or 911, excuse me, 911. And it was the earthquake episode, and at the very end, um, the the brand new brand new dispatcher was on the phones taking a taking calls and she got a call and the person the 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 girl on the other end said um i'm here at home and and i know we had an earthquake but i am is something happening in the sky because I'm seeing stuff in the sky. I'm seeing stuff in the sky. And the very intelligent <laughs> dispatcher thought about it for a minute. She said, oh, oh, is your electricity out? Yes, it is. Is it? And, and it's out all around me, the girl says. I mean, like blocks and blocks. And she says, oh. What you're seeing in the sky is the Milky Way, okay? If you um, live in a city or you live in a town that has a lot of light, you may not get to see the Milky Way. And this, this story took place in Los Angeles. And in Los Angeles, you are lucky to be able to see a star. <laughs> um, it is so, so light. So what I want to know in the comments below is where you live, are you able to see the Milky Way and see the stars? Have you ever seen the Milky Way? There are people that have never, ever seen the Milky Way. Where I live, um, up until about four years ago, we could actually see the Milky Way with all the colors. Um, you know, like the gassy colors. Uh, now we can just see the Milky Way. And we, we got that Dollar General and it has lit up our sky. So, um, yeah. So, because of this, I want to know, can you see the Milky Way from where you are? So, you'll put your answer in the comments below. That will get you in. And I'm really, 
I'm having a really good time finding out, you know, what your favorite bird is, what the bird, um, what your state bird is, and um, all of that. I've really, really enjoyed, and I thank you for um, playing along. Um, that it has been been really fun. So, can you see the Milky Way? Have you ever seen the Milky Way? And um, so, this is Stamp Away Saturday. Let's see. This is how this is how we do our throwback um, <laughs> bookkeeping. Stamp away. Saturday. This date is 10, what is it? 10, 20, 18. And then when we find out who the winner is next week, we put them there. So right now, I'll get to the part that you all have been waiting for, probably. And we are going to give away the bird set. And I have a couple of questions I have to answer. Um, from the last one. So someone asked about um, how in the heck an elephant ended up in the creek where we were sunbathing. Well, the elephant actually lived on property up the creek. Um, there's, sev there's actually a few places that have large exotic animals in that canyon. And Tara, baby Tara, she lived up the canyon. We didn't know that. Or I didn't know that at the time when the elephant came walking down while we were out sunbathing. But, but that is, uh, that is, that's that's the answer to that question. Then the other question, um, I don't remember it, so I'll have to do that another time. But I did want to tell you that I'm really excited. Uh, I have, <laughs> okay, I have a little story. Uh, Mockingbirds, okay? Several of you had a variety of different types of mockingbirds that were your state bird. And um, it reminded me that when I lived in Ojai, and I lived in this little mobile home, and next to a Christmas tree farm that they were no longer adding new Christmas trees to. Um, anyway, one night there was a possum that came and it was eating outside my window. It was very annoying and I was trying to go to sleep and it finally stopped and went on its way. I had a tree. It was eating the fruit out of the tree. Um, all of a sudden this mockingbird starts singing. But instead of singing bird songs, it sings literally car alarms. So it saw, and it was so close to car alarm, you know, like the, the beep, 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 nee, ee, nee, ee. it was hilarious. And I had this mockingbird for about a month and a half that every night at about 1030, it would show up outside my window on the fence and, and sing its, um, its, uh, song. They say that a mockingbird, you know, it's the, the boys, the the males, the male mockingbirds sing until they um, get a mate and then they stop singing. So <laughs> I guess it took him a month and a half or maybe he moved on. But anyway, that's my bird story for today. Um, I'm excited to be giving away this bird stamp set. This is one of the funnest ones. Funnest? Most fun? I, I can see this one's going to be really, really fun to use those um, those watercolors. Look at, won't it be? Oh, I think that'll be really fun. So let's get right down to it. Um, we had, so we have my, our little journal that we have our, um, so this is for 10, 20, 18. And this time we have 35, and I believe there's like 36 or 38 numbers in here. I know there's more than 35. So, um, so here, there were 35. There were a couple that, that answered more than once. You only get to be in the drawing one time, even though you have answered other things. It's all good. 
and a couple that didn't want to be in the drawing. So um, we have 35. So we're going to shake these up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, throw them around. <laughs> yeah, we do this old school here at Dear Julie Julie until we prob probably get to, because it does take time to write down all the names and everything. But anyway, so you can see I'm still moving them around. Okay. And I can't see anything. I'm going to reach in there. I'm going to pick one out. And the lucky number is 17. By the way, we had a whole lot of people this time that we've never had before. So lucky number 17, sorry about that, is Cindy Burkhalter. Cindy Burkhalter, congratulations. You have one week. So actually not one week. You have until next Wednesday. Wednesday will be the... 21, 22, 23, 24th, the 24th to um, message me your information so that I can get this out to the mail in the mail to you. You have one, the, the bird stamp set with all these adorable little stamp sets. We're getting down to the end of stamp sets that I have. So just so you know, there's, um, I think there's two, maybe three left at this time. I um, am going to go through my, my little stash where I have gifts and stuff and see if there's anything in there and um, so that I can add to it. But, um, you know, we are continuing because we had so many of the subscribers that sent stamps to be given away so Stamp Away Saturday could continue. So I thank you for that and congratulations to Cindy Burkhalter. This will be getting out to you in the mail. And remember, you are going to answer the question, um, can you see the Milky Way from where you live? Have you ever seen the Milky Way? Um, you can tell us a Milky Way story. I'm telling you, it has been so much fun. I watch all your comments as they come in, and then I read them all again when I'm doing this book, and that's when I give... I. I click on the heart and so just so you know when you see that I've um, put a heart on your comment that means right now I'm writing your name down I'm getting ready to do the video and to do the drawing so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're having a great weekend and I hope you have a really good view of the Milky Way tonight find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe have a great day bye Bye. <laughs>